Hello and welcome to my video today. Uh, I'm trying out another one of my crazy ideas. Um, and there's several reasons for this and this is not a done project. But it is a deep well cleanup sluice miller table combined. And I do want to say I have not tried this. I haven't ran it like most of my things I come up with and try. I'll just do it live on camera. I already know there's several things I want to change about this. Um, but I wanted to try, so I 3D printed it, and this is kind of what I come up with. And let me walk you through it and my thinking. Um, one of the reasons I made it is I wanted something to run a small amount of material without having to set up my whole sluice box and uh, all that stuff. Something I could run into a five gallon bucket. I only need one five gallon bucket of water. Um, let me walk you through this. So um, this is off of Utah Avalanche's design that he has made a lot of his sluices off. This deep well right here to give it a real smooth water flow. You can see how the water comes down in here in the back. Makes a nice even flow. It's got to climb up this across this plate and then directly onto the mat. Now Utah Avalanche's channel, he makes all of his with wood. Um, so I just 3D printed this. So I want to give him credit for that. If you haven't seen his wood sluices and deep well miller tables, all that, check it out. Uh, I'm sure he'll appreciate it. So this mat, so it slides right underneath a lip. Slides right underneath the lip up in there. And so it just comes directly across right onto the lip. And then for the miller table part, pull the mat out. And this is chalkboard paint. And you can see a lot of the little printer grooves in there. Which I think will work good for the miller table. And then a flare. So we went from 4 inches to 5.5 inch with a flare at the bottom. Also printed it. And the other reason, I'll just laugh a little bit, most cleanup sluices are lame. Um, you know, you got a small piece of aluminum, you set it in your sluice box, you run it. So I made this with levelers. They screw up and down, front and back, side to side, so you can level it up. Like I said, this is not done. I already know some things I want to change, like a water jacket in the back. I want to cut down the height of it bunch of other things and I printed this within two different materials that's why the color difference just to see what I need to do and what I can get away with what I can't so that's it for now my uh, mat I'm running is a mini nugget trap in the front see that there then a high low V and then a backwards mini nugget trap there and then into my micro gold uh, mat so it should go down here spread out a little bit create a different amount of flow so we can get this over the micro gold trap um, the other thing I wanted to do was I get sick and tired of putting my pumps in and having them um, fall over get down in the mud so I just 3d printed me a little container for my sluice or my pump and yeah put a hole in it for the hose now it's got a bunch of holes in there um, I don't know if I have enough this was just an idea I haven't ran any water through any of this but let me get this set back up again Oh, I got some material and there should be about a gram of gold in there and there's going to be some real small stuff. There's some beach gold in there. Classified it all down. I've uh, got some water. And you think, look at the snow. Hey, winter finally came here to Montana. There's my snowmobile under there. A couple weeks ago we had no snow. Last week we got a bunch of snow. And... Yeah, it was minus 30, 
So it's supposed to be 35 today, so it's like a heat wave. Well, enough of that. Let's get this thing fired up. See what happens. I've got my waterproof speed controller down here. Turn that on. Pump's going. A little filling up the well. And down it comes. Boy, that is some smooth water with that deep well in there. Let's put some material in. See what happens. If I want to move it slow, I don't have that much mat. What are we, 16 inches of mat? Something like that. And I want to run it slow and get most of the gold. I'm already seeing a little bit of gold. Yeah, I got about half the material ran there. So far, I'm really happy. Um, you can see there's the top of the riffle there. There's a little bit of gold down here, but you can see, I hope you can see the turbulence there. But when you come down to the flare, look how that flattens out into that micro mat there. Um, that's working absolutely wonderful, I think. Uh, this is really heavy garnet sand. This is some of that gold from Gnome off the beach there and off that Wild Ranger. This is some of that material. So really heavy garnet sand, but so far so good. We'll keep right on going. I'm super happy so far. Well, I'd say it don't get much better than that. Um, with controlled water flow, nice even flow, um, control the, the angle and everything. There is the top of the mat. Pure yellow. I don't like this yellow for the sluice part though. Um, but as you come down, yeah, I can see a few pieces down into here, but I see nothing down here at all. Uh, I'm sure there's a speck or two in there, but I mean the gold didn't travel three inches. Uh, maybe four. That is it. Um, so let me get this cleaned out, get it pet back in the pan, and we'll... <laughs> Give the Miller table uh, side a try, and we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Look at that. Woo! That is sweet. Then. I mean, it's not going very dang far, and whatever is getting out, which is nothing, that's working really well. I can just bring my snuffer bottle in here, suck it up. I mean, that's working really well. All right, I'm absolutely loving this thing. You can dial this thing in so sweet. Look at the gold staying up there at the top. Black sand slowly working down. Then it comes down here. We're ca catching some of this just because of the little riffles, but you ain't gonna lose nothing. You can sweep it back up. And then look where the flare. This is so controlled that a lot of the material is staying right where the flare opens up. So if you wanted to take that material and rerun it again, you certainly could. Um, so only the lighter, lightest stuff is going off. Or you can just brush it off into your container there. But you can literally see if there's any specks of gold. And yeah, it's just sitting there working away. I can play with my brush here. There's no gold in that. 
we can get rid of that. Then I can put some more material in and just let it work its way down real slow. So I'm able to adjust this, you know, go pretty quick go really slow. I walked in the house for five minutes, came back out. I can suck up the gold. Um, I see nothing wrong with that at all. You can see the stuff moving. Now with this little speed controller down here, yeah, I can turn it up a little bit. I can turn it down a little bit. And that is working slick. Okay, enough goo goo ga going over this. I'm super happy. So, we'll work off the rest of this material. Like I said, I can brush it up. I can just stick my snuffer bottle in there. Suck up the gold. It's so dang controlled. I'm, I'm amazed. I didn't think it would work that well. I thought this big lip was really going to mess things up. But it didn't. I'm liking that. Okay. Well, I got the rest of my material in there. Um, <laughs> I could not be happier. Now, I'm not sure what you can see in the camera there. Sun's coming out, but I can literally sit here and work this sand to make sure every speck of gold is out of it and not going down the sluice. And, boy, I, I don't know what to say. This is incredible. I think I have created the most effective, advanced, clean-up sluice, Miller Table combination ever made. Because I've never seen one made before, right? I've never seen a clean-up sluice that's a Miller Table as well. But that gold is sitting there. It ain't going nowhere. I can work it. A little bit gets on my brush, but I work it as fast as I want, as slow as I want, and get every last speck of gold out of there. Uh, super, super happy. Let me finish this. Uh, working on a couple other projects. I got a couple things to say, so I'll be back in a second. So there is the gold I recovered out of there. Not too shabby at all. Oh. <laughs> well, that couldn't have worked out any better. I'm super happy with that. Uh, back to my CAD program. I'll do a little more work on it. i uh, make a few changes, but all in all, um, I couldn't be happier with the way that worked out at all. Uh, for those of you waiting patiently for the molds for the silicone mats, they will be available soon, I promise. Um, I'm getting out of the day-to-day so, the -day selling part of it. I'm passing that on. It takes time to get things set up. Uh, what, there's going to be some new molds coming out, but... Anyway, please be patient when I have those available or when this little sluice becomes available. I'll have a link in the description below. Um, it's been nice just to take a little break for a while and get a little creative. I like that part. I don't so much like the website and selling and all that. So that'll be coming out here pretty dang quick. So I like the idea part. So anyway, oh, one more thing. Um, the, uh, they got a new mat I'm working on, and this has kind of been a thing for everybody for a long time, but what if you could run unclassified material down your sluice? Um, see what I'm thinking is, is what if your capture mat was running at about 7, 8 degrees, like it normally does, and most mats do, but what if you had grizzly bars running the length of your mat, now this is all 100% silicone, and they were 8 degrees steeper than your capture area of the mat. 
So you got your capture area here going like this, but you've got your grizzly bars at eight degrees steeper. I would think that the rock, bigger rocks would roll off a lot better, not screw up the mat in the bottom. So that's something I'm working on. I got a couple sections made. Um, of course, it's getting closer to spring all the time, middle of February, but think about that. You know, if you had a capture area this way, but your grizzly bars were going this way, I bet you could run unclassified material down it and not screw up the flow in your mat. Just a thought, where it's gonna be yet to be seen, but hey everybody, let me know what you think of the little combination Miller table uh, cleanup sluice. Um, I thank Utah Avalanche for coming up with that deep well idea. That works amazing. So let me know what you think. Everybody, thank you for watching. Another one of my crazy ideas, uh, hand sluice. Still working on that one. So I'll be back. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Catch you next time. Bye now.